Howdy y'all. Today let's walk around 5T. And before we get going, let me remind you to like, share, and subscribe. You guys are really helping the channel out and I appreciate every view I get. And this is 5T 3174 and it is W so that means the wider gauge. And here it is. This one had a long journey from Minnesota, just northwest of Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, to here in Colorado. And while I'm on the subject, I just want to give a shout out to the family that I have up in Minnesota. Hello, everybody. No seat. Uh, the clutches, both of them are loose. Both of them are springy. Um, this had an aftermarket dozer on it. And you're wondering probably why the dozer isn't here. Well, that added a lot of extra weight and that was a long trip and the dozer was in terrible shape anyway. The arms were cracked. It really wasn't worth bringing home. And the gentleman we bought it from, who was an awesome guy by the way, uh, he let us just leave it there. So it's up there. He's gonna put it on display. So it's found a perfect home. But uh, this looked like an aftermarket setup. Uh, maybe the brackets weren't. These might be cat. I don't really know enough about these to know. The hydraulic system, it's, <laughs> well, pretty farmer. So they run over the top and to this tank right here. These valves are kind of a mess too, but they still spring, still work. And from what I understand that this tractor was used at the last to push insulage pack some insulage pits and it was still running a few years ago it's hard to believe the oil inside the dipstick is pretty milky in the engine oil but we're going to drain that the good thing about this is it's the d4400 engine which yes i know that's not a good engine but it is the same parts that i need for 4g and sadly that's really the reason that I bought this tractor. This does have the wire grousers in the ones that are on 4G and the track chains. That's why I actually bought this. Those track chains are like new. They still have the paint on them. And it looks like some of the rollers even down underneath here have been replaced and are like new. This one's got the mechanical generator on the front because the pony motor was electric start. Right here. And I'm not sure if it was or not added later or if this bulkhead is new, but it looks like somebody had torch cut this out for that generator for some reason, I'm not sure. Pony motors got play back and forth here a little bit. It does have the little glass and valve here this is a bracket that's broke on 4G, and it's got a decent fuel tank that I'll probably use on 4G. It's a shame that they welded these brackets to the fender here. Here's the rest of the hydraulic setup. Uh, some of this undercarriage is loose, cracked, not in great shape. But I think a lot of this is salvageable and will make good parts. We're not too sure about the master links. Uh, those are kind of kind of a strange setup. It looks like somebody had tried to cut in there with a torch or heat them and they cut it. I'm not sure. Drawbar is, well, it's worn. It's worn, but still far better shape than the one on 4G. So this will probably get swapped out with 4G. I'm going to build this up in here and I'll put that spacer shim that I have in here. This did have the side tank just like 4G, which is another reason I bought it. And it's a little bit of an indication here that somebody was pressurizing the system to help this thing start. Not something I'd really like to see when I buy one of these. Not that I'm any kind of an expert. Uh, had kind of an ad hoc ammo can toolbox here nothing in there worth note the aftermarket hydraulic tank set up and it's a shame that those fenders 
got bolted. Here's where the battery box was for the electric start. And it still has the little gauge up here. Well, the glass is very milky. This one does have the newer style where the exhaust from the pony motor goes into the intake manifold for the diesel engine. Actually exits right there. But that heats that intake um, air and helps with combustion with the diesel engine when you're trying to turn it over. The guard, this is definitely looks like aftermarket to me as well, as well as the belly pan. That'll be probably one of the first things that we take off of here, along with the hydraulic setup, and get this cleaned up. These grousers are wider than the ones over there for 4G. I think these are a 14 or I'm sorry, a 16, and I think that those are a 14 or a 13. Uh, but I'm hoping that these will go ahead and fit on 4G. I don't want to take these grousers off of this track chain and swap them out, but I will if I have to. Everything's free. The gauge here is not in terrible shape. It's a serial numbered block, just the same as the tractor itself. And we got, actually can see the hours on here. I think that one says 840 is about all I can read. There's another number back there I cannot read. Not sure if this engine is free. The gentleman we bought it from said that all he ever really did was put his hand on there and try to turn it. But as soon as Dad and I get that hydraulic pump off the front of here, we're going to put the crank from 4G in there and see if we can turn it over. It may be, it may have been a better candidate than 4G was, but I kind of fell in love with 4G. It's a Colorado tractor. Dad and I are super invested in it, and this one might have to die so that others can live, sadly. And if that's the case, I'll have some decent parts to move forward with. And see any unusual signs of wear or damage. Uh, no track frame brakes, nothing like that. This definitely does not have the track guards on it, on either side. And you can see there's a lot of slop in this track chain because, well, on the other side especially, the adjuster's broke, it's cracked, so you can't really adjust it. As much work as 4G has been, I think this would be just as much or even more. There's a uh, quite a mess, a rat's nest inside the radiator. It's kind of interesting to see that that stud's still there and usable. Um, at least on our Cat 22 and 4G Lefty, that was rusted out and gone. I may need to use some of these injectors on 4G if that's possible. I don't know. These look like a newer style, so we'll have to see. Have to see about the fuel pump as well. Interesting to note, everything's free, everything works. There were two main reasons that I bought this tractor. Number one was the track frame, and number two was it had the same style of engine. So hopefully I can salvage some parts off of here that will work. It is nice that this seat is higher and further back than on 4G. This machine looks a lot more comfortable to drive and operate than uh, the older style ones were. And at some point, I'll definitely open this cover up to get into the transmission so we can kind of see what's going on in there and what it looks like. Uh, main clutch snaps in nice. Uh, it seems to work. My dad was steering it when it was loaded onto the trailer with the brakes. So they seem to work. They are free. And I did notice that these pedals do not show a lot of wear like you would see on a normal dozer. Although this had a dozer, I don't know that it pushed too much dirt. I think it was mostly insulage and lighter material, so that kind of says good things for the, the undercarriage of this machine.
It does have gauges. Uh, I do need one for 4G. That one looks like it's impregnated with oil, the oil pressure. Um, but they might be salvageable, who knows. The steering clutches. They got a little spring in them, not too bad. But again, same components as 4G. So a lot of that stuff that's in here, we can use. This one's a little more sticky. This throttle bracket and the throttle linkage all seem to work just fine. Not exactly sure what these were on here for. Some brackets, something welded up. Maybe for a canopy or an umbrella. Did have rear hydraulics out of that aftermarket system at some point. This whole tractor cost me about what a set of new track chains would cost. And they are aftermarket and they are from China. They're actually more. I'm still on the lookout for other parts tractors, other D4s. I'm just not sure that I want to tackle this one as a project tractor. It's kind of like shelter pets, these tractors. I want to save them all, but I know I can't. And it's heartbreaking to see them get scrapped. Sprockets aren't in very good shape. Uh, the return rollers have some wear. Again, not in great shape. Missing most of the track guards. Just have these two back ones here. Which is better than nothing, I guess. See, now this would bug me. I don't know if this has to be this way. But those numbers not being level down here at the bottom, that would drive me nuts. And I was saying that dozer arms were cracked. Imagine it got a little bit of abuse. See, we're missing a few grouser bolts here I'll have to replace. I think the mechanical generators are a really cool thing. Kind of unique. This does have the Eisman Magneto on the pony motor. to see but it says Eisman on the side back there so same should be the same magneto as the one on 4G lefty I really highly doubt that that is any close to near a factory belly pan for this machine although it could be uh, if you think it is let me know in the comments down below I'm guessing if it was the brackets got broke off and some angle iron got rewelded in its place it might be in case you were wondering, yes, I did get a hood with it. Yes, I do have the air cleaner. And uh, along with that, got a couple of heads for a pony motor a gear and fairly decent cam for a pony motor too. So not a bad deal. I'm really happy to have all these. The hood's fairly reasonably straight. Uh, it does have a couple of little nicks here where the exhaust was, but really that could be fixed quite easily. No serious dents or dings in here. I was kind of surprised. And you can tell it's been repainted a few times. So it is very possible that this being a Minnesota machine, that that water, that milky looking water in the oil is simply condens condensation, especially knowing that this was kept inside at least while the last owner had it. That's a very good possibility. Um, let's see what the pony motor looks like. Low on oil. There's a little bit on the end of the stick. But I don't see any water in the pony. Which is a good sign. Think it's going to have some good parts that we need and who knows maybe turn into another project but there you have it 5t i do want to thank you for watching please like share and subscribe 
and we'll see you on the next one.